Apollo, using his bow, had just killed the terrifying serpent Python. The god proudly paraded himself, carrying his bow and arrows, a weapon that would become one of his symbols. The archer god crossed paths with Eros, the god of love, as he was practicing his accuracy. Despite his childish figure, he had an elegant and noble posture with the bow. Feeling jealous after seeing the god child using the ark so majestically, Apollo decided to mess with Eros's pride. Hey boy, what do you think you're doing, handling such a noble instrument with that carelessness? Don't you know that now, all over the world, people refer to the ark as Apollo's weapon? Because I used it to defeat the most dreadful of monsters? Eros didn't pay attention to his provocations. He turned his back to Apollo and started to walk away. But the solar god kept taunting him. That's right, go away. With that poor accuracy of yours, you will never do a feat like mine. That last of Apollo's insult extrapolated the patience of the god of love who quickly faced him, picking one of his golden arrows and firing his weapon, hitting the heart of the god Apollo, who fell to his knees. Eros had never crushed any big monster, but he had just put one of the most powerful gods on his knees. His arrow didn't really hurt him physically, but now the god Apollo was under the absolute influence of love. The solar god spotted a beautiful nymph. Her name was Daphne, Peneos' daughter a river god. Apollo immediately fell in love with her. But Eros had yet to finish his lesson. He then hit Daphne's heart with a lead arrow, making her feel disgust with Apollo. The god of light tried to get close to the nymph, who promptly moved away from him. Why are you running away from me? Can't you see I'm god Apollo? God of beauty, of music and prophecy, Apollo proudly said. Your figure makes me sick. Don't get any closer. I prefer to give myself to one of those nauseating satyrs. However, Apollo couldn't resist the powers of passion and tried to get closer to the nymph. She tried to run away, but Apollo kept chasing her. When the god was about to catch her, the nymph ran into the waters of her father's river, Peneos, the god river, who decided to help his daughter. Right when Apollo grabbed her, Daphne started to transform herself into a tree. Apollo, desolated, kissed the tree, and when he tried to touch the nymph's hair, he was left with laurel leaves in his hands. Daphne had been transformed into a laurel. Already resigned, Apollo said, I was denied the chance to love her, but from now on, you will be my sacred plant. From your leaves I'll make a laurel wreath, which I'll wear and I'll allow it to be worn by those who are living a moment of triumph. And from that day forward, the laurel wreath became a symbol of glory.